guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching today i have a video that has been quite often requested actually and one of two of my most watched videos on my youtube are to do with the handbag that i'm going to be talking about today um so i quite often get people asking me about my loewe cubie bag i believe that my unboxing video of that bag is um it's one of my most viewed videos and also I get a lot of people telling me on that video that it was uh, really really detailed and really really informative and that not many people have done QB unboxings so I'm really really glad that everybody's found that video so helpful I'll link it either up here or and it will be down in the description box as well um, but something that I get asked quite often there's a fly in this room that's going to be annoying Something that I get asked quite often is what fits in the Loewe QB bag. So, I will show you today. <laughs> so, without further ado, here she is. My pride and joy. I absolutely adore this bag. I'm trying to think when I got it now. I think it was April last year, so April 2022. Which is insane, because that means I've had her over a year. And honestly, you would think with this being like a fabric bag that she would be in absolute tatters. Bearing in mind, I wear this bag, this is one of my most worn bags, for sure, since I've got her, um, 100%. And honestly, she looks incredible. I'm gonna go through a little bit of the wear and tear with her because that's one of the most asked questions, but also what fits in her. Um, so, yes, to start us off, this is the Low Over QB bag in the size small. Um, this bag, when I bought it, retailed for £850. I bought this new in the store on New Bond Street in London. Uh, this is not one of my second-hand bags. I did buy this new in store. Um, the bag in this size now retails for £1,000. So it has gone up by... Is that £250? £150? £150, isn't it? <laughs> Math. Um, so yeah... She has gone up by 150 quid. Uh, that's the last time I checked, actually. It might have even gone up again. I don't even know. Um, but this is the size small. This is the size small. So this is the smallest size that this bag comes in. Now, something to note is that if you were to go into store to buy this bag now, it will look a little bit different. And that's because, as you can see, on my bag, the anagram, the Loewe anagram, is large. And what they've done now if you're going to store to buy this bag is each so basically it's the low of l repeated upon itself four times in a cube shape um and this is the logo for low of but what they've done now is make this logo the size of each one of these l's essentially so if you are going to store now it no longer has this enlarged print the Loewe logo now fits into a square about the size of each one of these L's. Does that make sense? Am I explaining that? Like, this whole logo has now been shrunk down to the size of just one of these L's. So now you get the logo a lot more. It's like, like covered. It's still in rows and still repetitive. But yeah, a lot more, um, well, just smaller, essentially. So that's just something to note. It no longer comes in this enlarged... Uh, logo print uh that's something i noticed when i went into store to look at the hobo bag the puzzle hobo bag so yeah a quick overview then so she's obviously made of cloth she's made of cotton with this logo all over printed um sorry not printed it's like basically embroidered um you can get this in a variety of colors i originally wanted the sage green which is like um a sage green background with the white logo and then the leather is sage green as well but she also comes in a navy and beige a red and beige which i really don't like and then this tan and beige i ended up going for this one because i don't have a tan bag and i thought this would be a really good one to go for um the handle has the lovevo logo on and then it's made of leather this handle is semi-adjustable so this is it on the largest setting and then what you do you pull this through, you push it through this loop, pull it through. It's a bit tough because I never do it. Pull it through and then it like catches on this lip. And then it's in the small size. So that's it. If you, it still goes over your shoulder to be fair. 
Um, but I would say this is more of like a crook in the arm handheld uh, length. But I always have mine on the longest just so that I've got a bit more room underneath my armpit. Because um, obviously this is cloth and you don't really want it getting like sweat on it. Uh, then it features like this tag zip pull which you can customise with the Lorove beads that you can buy. They're roughly £70 each the beads so you could have beads going all the way up this if you wanted to. Then it has a really nice zip pull, it's very very smooth and inside we've just got cloth on the inside, Lorove logo here, there's a pocket on this side which is very generous actually and then the whole space is just open. Um, Wear and tear wise, obviously I've got like a couple of tiny stains in here. I mean, like literally drop stains, um, barely anything. I really do look after my bags. I mean, I, I don't baby them, but I look after them, if you know what I mean. So there's really not much going on there. And on the outside as well, honestly, t t bearing in mind that I use this bag honestly every week since I've got it, it's come out at some point. Um, the corners are like really really well worn like the leather on the bottom like I don't baby her she comes with me everywhere she I swing her over my arm I'm running about town like she's been in the rain a little bit I did cover her with an umbrella but like yeah still um obviously mainly she's been out in the summer but I have worn her in the winter because she looks amazing with a navy coat so yeah, that's wear and tear wise. Let's get on to what fits in her. So I'm gonna start off with my Loewe card holder. And the reason I'm starting with this is because I bought this card ho holder specifically because it comes in the um, avocado green. This green is called avocado on the Loewe website. Um, and it has the repeating Loewe anagram pattern. So it matches the bag really nicely. In fact, it would match it even more with the smaller print that they do now. Um, but I got it because it matches beautifully. And also this is the color that I originally was gonna get the QB bag in. So I thought it was a nice nod to that. So this is the, I think it's called the repetitive card holder. I cannot find this on the website anymore. They've changed it now where it's only got one logo on. I will try and link it down below. I found it when I originally bought it, obviously, and then it seemed to just vanish. Um, so I don't know if this is last season now, but I will try and find it or the most similar one. This, I believe I paid £190 for this, which I know is insane, but look, it's me. Oh, chuck it about. Um, wear and tear wise, this has been amazing. Like there's literally, I mean, I've, when did I get this? Maybe February this year. So I've had it like seven months. Um, considering I've used it every day since, I like have four cards in here and then do I have anything done? There's a middle section as well but I haven't got anything in there at the moment. Um, inside there it's just leather and then it says Loewe. But yeah, held up really well but I cannot fault Loewe leather, like it's, it's perfect. So on a daily basis, in the bag goes my card holder. Then I have my taut comb always keep this if you are a fringe gal like me then you quite often have to have a comb on you um so this is from the brand taut fantastic hair brand they do lots of um clips as well which i normally clip onto this bag because it looks really pretty um so that's going in as well then i always take my louis vuitton six ring key holder um, so this is in the on point leather. This is so old now. I should do a wear and tear on this because it is donezo. Like the popper, um, sorry, my camera's taking ages to focus for some reason today. Popper is like really worn inside. You can see the sides are like all dented underneath the keys. It's like a bit grubby. Um, there's like a mark inside the pocket, but this has been used every single day since the day I bought it. I believe I got this in 20, 2018, it must have been. I think I just moved to Brighton, maybe a year after I moved to Brighton, or maybe it was 2017, maybe 2017. Uh, so yeah, this is the six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton in the on point leather in black. This is one of the best things I've ever bought from a designer brand. It's incredible. I really want a new one. I really, really want a new one, but this one's so special. Like, she's so misshapen. Like, 
it's like almost not even rectangular anymore like but honestly everyone also is so um amazed when i get this out it's so funny like they just can't believe that these exist but yeah so so handy your keys don't scratch anything in your bag it's amazing so that always goes in a new piece that i recently bought you'll have seen in the monaco vlogs if you watch them i will link them up above and down below so you can go watch those this fly is now on me <laughs> um is my louis vuitton clay this is the clay key pouch in here i keep my car key i always have a lip balm today it's the glossier mango balm.com and then a variety of hair clips and hair bands which i won't show you now Oh, and always a little perfume sample for on the go. And this is the one that comes with the D-ring chain. Um, sometimes I had this out, like yesterday I was using my Neverfall and I clipped it onto the D-ring that's in the Neverfall. But for now, for the most part, I just um, keep that in there. Car fog goes in there. Everything's handy in there and not like rummaging about my bag for it. I, I just know that everything's in there. I quite like that. I recently swapped back to my Celine wallet. This is the Celine wallet that matches my Celine Nano luggage bag. This is in the colour Cerise, I believe. I could not for the life of me remember what this yellow is called. I don't believe they do this anymore. I think this used to be called the Trifold wallet, but they don't do it. It's not the exact same anymore. They do a similar version. It doesn't have poppers on. I think they changed that because look at the wear on those. That really annoys me um that it wore so badly i got this in 2016 and i used it every day after i got it and then i've only recently changed well i changed back to it yesterday because my san luan card holder is torn to bits like that thing is falling apart i bought that back in 2014 so that thing's falling apart so i've gone back to this and what i keep in here this is going to be ridiculous but it's all of my coffee loyalty cards um so i've got like I have them in alphabetical order so that when I go to a coffee shop I can get them out by name of coffee shop. So I've got them, it's like A, B, C, D, some in there, there and there and then I keep a uh, loose change in this pocket. The wear in there is, just, is actually disgusting, like it's gone green, it's so gross. Um, and then it's got a section for bills as well but I don't really have that, sometimes I put receipts in there but not often. So that's been coming with me since yesterday um because yeah my san luan card holder is falling apart i don't recommend buying san luan card holders from personal experience i know other people that have got on fine with them mine is falling apart so that's going in that's quite hefty by the way but that is uh gonna go in there and we we've still got room we have still got room so next up i don't carry too much with me by the way i'm quite a compact carrier always have to have a packet of tissues so they're going in not much to say about those then I've got my AirPods. This case is from a brand called Knock Store. It's amazing. I love that it's got this D-ring clip on. Sometimes I actually clip it on to here so I can just get them more easily. Um, or if I've got them in, I clip them there so I can put them away more easily. Um, but yeah, that's coming with us as well. And that normally on a day-to-day -day basis would be what i carry but what i also want to show is that a water bottle can fit in this is my now jean glossier water bottle in the 500 milliliter size and that does fit in comfortably as well and it can zip up still so that's it full now obviously it's a cloth bag it, you can sort of see lumps and bumps it's not heavy because the bag's so light um and that is how i would normally carry it so that's what it looks like when it's completely full. Um, and I think you can fit a good amount of stuff in here. I mean, not everybody's carrying a water bottle every day. So if I was to take that out, I, I normally do, because I'm a thirsty gal. But if I wasn't, then it would look like this. It does bow in the middle. That doesn't bother me, because it's going on my arm anyway. It gives me even more room. Um, but yeah, that is how I wear my Loewe Vicubi bag. And for a small bag, it fits a lot, to be honest. I think it helps that it's just one big open compartment and you can just get everything in there. But I like that I can see everything at a glance. You know, it doesn't take me two seconds to find something to get it out. Card holder there. If I want my clay, it's there. Like, everything's super, super easy to get. Nothing's floating about. All of my floaty things I keep in my clay anyway. So everything's sort of just got a job in there. It's... 
very compact and ready to go. But like I say, I don't carry too much on a daily basis anyway, so this is a really perfect bag for me. Um, I like that I don't have to play Tetris and like stack things in a certain way like I do with a couple of my other bags. My Celine Nano is probably about the same size as this, but I have to like do it in such a certain way because it's a structured bag. Whereas because this has like so much movement to it, things can sort of like float about and it, it still all fits. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend the Low Over Cubie. It's one of my favorites. Honestly, it's become such a staple in my bag wardrobe and I absolutely love her. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here because there's really just not much more to say. But if you want to subscribe to my channel, then please do. It'd be lovely to have you over here. Go and follow me on Instagram and please watch my previous videos as well. That'd be amazing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.